All right, so today I am going to be making pot pies. So we're gonna pass to the camera to collect any items you would like to discard. So, well not pot pie, it's not what it was gonna be a pot pie. And this is going to be mushroom onion pot pie. So, I make this all the time. It's actually one of my favorites because it's very comforting, I feel like. Um, it, I don't know, it's like, gives you that warm, like loving, full feeling. It has a lot of umami, has like a lot of flavor to it. So, i um, very excited to share this recipe with you guys. So let's get started. So don't mind the fact that this is not completely clean. I just finished making um, pie crust for another video, but the ingredients are basically the same. I don't feel like washing 10,000 dishes, so this is what we're about to do. Now, I'm just gonna prep this to make my life easier. So I'm putting two cups of white spelt flour. If you would like, you could do one and a half cups of spelt flour and then half a cup of chickpea flour. And if you do it that way, if you do it that way, the chickpea flour kind of acts like eggs. So it'll make it like more golden brownish, but I'm running out of chickpea flour. I don't want to waste my precious chickpea, chickpea flour because that's what I make my chickpea burgers with and Donovan has to eat lunch tomorrow. So this is um, gonna just be fully white spelt flour. Uh, the white spelt flour that we use is Vita Spelt. Right now, this is one fourth of a teaspoon of sea salt, one fourth of a teaspoon of dill, one fourth of a teaspoon of ginger, one fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So sad to see this go. Oh, cayenne pepper really, like, this would really be like, ah, oh, it just, it, the flavor is immaculate. It's just amazing. One teaspoon of onion powder. One tablespoon of grapeseed oil. And I'ma just let this stay right here. So right now I have, don't look at the dirty, the dirty stove, it's okay. It'll get clean eventually. Um, this is, the pan just preheating because I want it to start. I, as soon as I throw the onions in there. Gonna need some mushrooms, onion, a big one preferably. Now, depending on your taste, I love onions, so I got the big one. Gonna need some garbanzo bean flour to add, to act as a thickener. Definitely need a little grocery shopping. Bell peppers would be great in this too, but we don't have any. And if you want, you could also like spice it up. Um, one thing that I used to do when I first started was add like some chopped butternut squash, some zucchini. Those two, like will go really, really well here. But um, for right now, I'm just sticking with the basics. The onion and the mushrooms. Cut off the butts. Take this outer layer off. So what I'm gonna do in the meantime, before I start cutting this up, is um, I'm gonna add some oil to the pan. Probably two tablespoons worth of oil, enough to cover the bottom of the pan. Let's get chopped. Now that we have all of our onions, I'm gonna go ahead, gonna go ahead and start throwing them in the fire. So I'm gonna kind of move this around. 
So if the oil's moving freely, should be, it definitely be hot enough now. I'm gonna just throw in her And you just wanna go ahead and allow the onions to saute. I like using yellow onions. I've never tried using red onions for this, but I'm gonna be giving that a try soon. So I like to take this time, start rinsing off my mushrooms, because I don't know if you read the nonsense blog, um, food blogs that say don't rinse off your, your, your mushrooms. You definitely need to rinse those off, because there's dirt in here. Like, I feel like that's insane. And just so you guys know, um, in case you weren't aware, organic means that there's no GMOs in there. Um, but if it only says non-GMO and it does not say organic, it may not be the healthiest thing for you because there still might be pesticides and all that stuff used, while organic does not have any of that. So just like a heads up, something that I learned recently. And another tip too, if you shop at Whole Foods, always, if you're looking for organic foods, it's always gonna be in the green packaging. So let's say that you're going to get kale, regular kale or green beans or whatever you're looking for, if it's in a packaging, it's always gonna say, um, it's always gonna be in a blue packaging if it's not organic. If it is organic, it's in green packaging. Same thing goes for the produce. If the produce has a white um, background where it tells you the price on the paper, then it is not organic. If it is a green paper, it is organic. So, just so you know that everything at Whole Foods doesn't just come organic. It's time to chop them. And every once in a while, go ahead and give your onions kind of like a stir. I'm just gonna start throwing in my mushrooms. Yeah, we have to turn the light on. But as you can see, maybe you can see it better with the light. Yeah. The onions are already starting to kind of like release juices into the oil. Kind of-ish. Anyways. Oh, not the mushrooms, the onions. And then, just boop. Got those in there. And you want to cook these until you start to see um, the mushrooms release its water. See what looks better. And if you notice, I don't really cut the mushrooms up um, too fine. Because mushrooms can be very flavorful. And that's something that you'll realize in this recipe. So you don't want to cut them up too fine. Because then you won't really release that flavor the same way. Oh, little cameo. Say hi to bread. <laughs> so in the meantime, while last cooking, we're gonna return here back to our flour mixture. I'm gonna start adding water until you get to this consistency. I don't know how much water that is. Just try to get to that consistency that you see me have. And the consistency of the crust should look like this. You want it to kind of look like a goop. All right, so you could you could see that the mushrooms and the onions are starting to release the juices. So what I'm gonna do now is add the seasonings. The filling recipe that I use for this is actually um, the mushroom onion gravy recipe that you can find at tiesconsciouskitchen.com. Um, I really love his recipes and like this inspired me to like put my own flair on the pot pies. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a teaspoon of sea salt. I use pink Himalayan sea salt. A teaspoon of onion powder. 
half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of thyme. So you can definitely use fresh thyme in this. I'm using like the dried ones. What you wanna do is you wanna like incorporate this really, really well and probably let this cook for another two minutes. All right, so after the two minutes, what you wanna do is you wanna add one and a half cups of water. Oh, and then once you add the water in, you also wanna go ahead and add cayenne pepper. You can add it to your taste. Um, the recipe I think calls for a quarter, no, uh, yeah, a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I feel like that's a lot. So I kind of just be dashing until it look right. So yeah, that's a couple dashes of cayenne pepper. All right, so I'm just gonna keep giving this a stir just to make sure that all of the seasonings really get into the water and everything. And then I just wanna let this sit here until it starts boiling. So at this part, you can see like the bubbles and everything, so that means that it's starting to boil. So I just wanna keep stirring it around, just making sure all the flavors mix in there. And it really, at this point, it smells really, really good. Like, really good. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm adding in like half a, ta half a tablespoon at a time of the chickpea flour and just mixing it in until it gets really thick. Um, if it's too runny, it'll kinda like leak out when you bake it. So you wanna make it thick. And for me right now, I'm using um, the spoon because my whisk is dirty, but it would be better. Um, you would get less clumps if you use a whisk instead. But like I said, you really want this to be very thick. So now we're gonna pour that batter. Um, I wanna say close to half of it at the bottom. Um, and you just wanna spread it out and make sure that it's even. Then after that, we're gonna add in our filling. And boom, now that our filling's in, you want to go ahead and pour the rest of the crust on top. And you you don't wanna pour, like you, you kinda of wanna move around while you pour it to just make sure that it coats the whole thing. So yeah, you wanna go ahead and put this in the oven at 350 degrees and you're gonna um, bake it for 30 minutes. So this is how the pot pie came out. I'm gonna go ahead and slice into it in a bit so you guys can see how the center is, but it's still definitely hot. Um, and this is just how it came out. This is all like gravy from the filling, so yeah.